All right, y'all, so let's jump right into this haircut tutorial. Right here, I have the number four guard on using my wall magic cordless clippers. And we're just gonna run that four all the way up to the top because it's gonna be a comb over, right? So you wanna, he wants to disconnect this side to the other side. Um, you know, have that short one side of the comb over. And he hasn't got a haircut in maybe three or four months now. So we about to save this dude's life right now. It's my boy Nick. I appreciate you, man, letting me, you know, record a video and, and you know, give you a makeover for real because we take his beard off, y'all. We cut his whole beard off to a number three. So stay tuned for that. So I'm just taking a number four guard, making it even on this side. And then right here, I'm gonna start using my number one guard, lever all the way close. One of the hottest, the house of creation. And we're using the wall premium metal guards. And anything that I use in my video, make sure to check the description below. Check out those links. Um, from the clippers, trimmers, to the guards, blades that I use all right so going from the one we open up the lever in the middle and then open it all the way and then right here we have the number one and a half guard not the one guard but the one and a half guard and we started with the lever all the way open put it in the middle and then close it and that's what we're gonna do all the way up to the top and to the four all right, so now this is a number two guard. Again, lever open, then you put it in the middle, and then you close it. Now, whenever you open it, you create that guideline, right? Now, whenever you put it in the middle and then close it, you start trying to take out that guideline that was underneath it, that you just, the one you created, one if that makes any hottest, sense. And you may have to go back and use the one and a half guard to blend that in just a little bit more, which what I do right here. See, I went back to the, the one and a half guard. Blend that in just a little bit more. Alright, so this is the number three guard. Again, starting with the lever open. And we're blending it into the number four. He doesn't really like his skin fade look, um, so he wanted to do the number one. And guys, I I was recording with my you know with the one camera the I always use, but I didn't have the piece that latches onto the tripod, so I only recorded like the important parts. Okay, I didn't record lining him up or anything like that. Uh, around the One neckline the hottest, um, the house just because I was so scared that my camera would get knocked over that I just wanted, wanted to record the important parts but we got it done but if you want to check out any other kind of lineup videos I actually have a lineup video so go check that out um, how to do edge up and stuff like that around the back and go around the ears Yeah, I didn't have the piece that latches onto the, the tripod that connects to the camera and I didn't want my camera to fall so I only recorded the important part. So, so what you do to one side, you, you do to the other, right? So starting with the number four guard, going all the way up. And we're just knocking out that bulk out the way. And whenever you comb, whenever you have a comb in your hand and the opposite hand that you're not cutting with, and you comb down into the guard, it kind of helps out. It makes you know it makes it easier. One and you can tell I kind of dropped the, the one towards the back, kind of contouring the shape of his head. It's not really like a drop fade or a low fade. I just, I just sometimes I would drop it, sometimes I don't.
whole time, my boy Nick is like, he's like, alright, we're gonna go through with it, we're gonna do the number three on the beard, and there's just moments in this video that I can tell he's just second guessing it, but hey, we did it, you know, and, and it looks dope, I think it looks dope, you know, he's, he started a new job out here in uh, Florida, so, you know, big ups to him, now he looks professional, you know, after this cut. <laughs> And he also got a lot of compliments in the shop as well, so I think we did a good job. I think the haircut came out dope at the end. Alright, so now we're going to do some scissor work. Make sure to wet the hair on top. We want to saturate it because the hair expands once it's wet. It expands to its fullest potential. Alright, so I kind of combed the front of the hair, you know, the front hair pieces to the front just because it's kind of light in that area and I wanted to leave that part just a little bit longer, but, and my camera cut off right here, again, I'm not working with everything that I have usually, so bear with me, but again, I have a barber One technique technique video and I do sheer work and, and, and everything else that I do in, in the shop day in and day out, so go check that out. Um, if you really want to know about scissor work or any other barber the technique. Hottest, the house of creation. I didn't notice that the tripod was too low, but if I were to, you know, raise it higher again, I was scared that my camera was going to fall, so I apologize. Alright, now we lift up the front of the hair, and we're just going to just trim it just bit because again I want to leave it a little bit longer so I can comb it over into the, the hair or in, into the comb over and right here I'm just double cross checking my work and cutting making making sure that it's even all the way through all right so now that I did my scissor work I'm gonna comb all the all the hair down right and I start with my number four guard open just to blend that in just a tad bit more. So the reason why I start high is trial and error. You can always take hair off, you can't put hair back on, right? So, started with the lever all the way open with a four guard and worked my way down into the two, into the one and a half guard, and you can see it's already blended. to work all right here it is the number three guard i'm sorry guys out there if y'all have big beards this might be a little you know too much for y'all to watch to grasp but here we go oh there's no going back man there's no going back That was at least two years of growth. Two years of this November would have been three years. And he started um, two years back on No Shave November. So this November would have been three years. But, you know, he got a new job. He wants a new look. Man. Everyone in the shop was watching. It was crazy. It's a big thing, man. It's a big transformation, a big decision to make. And, you know, big ups to him for, you know, making the decision to, to cut it off. It's not to say that he's not going to grow back, because he did say he wants to regrow it. But, you know, for the time being, he's like, he's already happy. <laughs> I ain't even lined it up just yet. And I, I didn't even show him yet until after the full haircut. Alright, so now we're gonna line it up. One of the hottest, the house of. And 
we're gonna keep it as natural as possible, keeping a natural shape. You can tell I'm not cutting in too much, I'm keeping it kind of how it is. And then we're just gonna line up the bottom of the neck. One of the hottest, the house of creation. As you can see, the, the neckline's already lined up, so that's what I did not record. I didn't record the neckline or like that. Just because, again, I wanted to just record the important parts. And um, I didn't have the right equipment today. Um, whenever I was recording this video but I'm using my Anders GTX-T outliners they are modified meaning the plastic piece is cut off that way I can get around the ears better around the mustache area a little better um, also you know it, it looks dope as well but if you do not want to lose that factory warranty with Anders do not cut it alright So right here you can tell that it's kind of higher than the other side. I did see that later on in this video or whenever I was doing a haircut. So I did fix that, don't worry. <laughs> That's why you have your mirrors, right? see it I saw it after you know during the razor work so don't worry I saw it though I know I'm probably gonna get comments regardless even though I'm already saying that I fixed it they're probably gonna comment below oh one side was harder than the other but don't worry I fixed it now we're just fit finishing up some razor work and I didn't, I didn't apply any like 245 shave gel. It was really, you know, again, I kept it as natural as possible. So. One of the hottest, the house of creation. There's sometimes I just feel like dry shaving, so. Do I recommend it? No, until you get, you know, how to do it with shave gel. Now we're applying some product to his, to his hair. Man, this dude looks like a brand new man. He don't even look the same in a good way, you know. This cut looks good on him. The beard looks good. Look, he's trying to grab it. <laughs> he's trying to grab his beard. You gotta get used to that. He's been doing that for two years, y'all. So right here, I'm just cleaning up his eyebrows. Dude got a total makeover. Here's a cut. There it is. One on the side, comb over. One of the Took off his whole beard. Crazy transformation right here. Make sure you subscribe, share, and comment. Team Gifted, stay gifted.